Hey JC, it's today with another Mulsing story. Today I will be doing a Mulsing story on the Beer and Wine mod. So what this basically does is, of course, add beer and wine to the game. And basically adds this, which is barley. It's bit, to me it looks like the same texture as long grass, just slightly lighter. So what you basically do is break it up. You plant and grow it, same way as wheat. And it requires the same conditions, barley seeds are obtained from white barley. So you just basically grow it like normal wheat. And then once you've actually got it, you can turn it into more seeds like you see here. Or you can create a barrel, like so. And then this is it lo it looks a bit like the furnace G well, if you ask me. And you then just put it on the top there. Or oh, whoops, put it on the top there with a water bucket and then it basically turns into a beer bucket. But you can't drink from it just yet. You'll need to create about eight beer mugs. I think they're beer mugs for minted. Anyway. And then you put it in the centre, then surround it with them. And then you there you have it. And that is basically for the beer bar. This is the wine one. You harvest it from some vines, you get these which are wine seeds, or grape seeds. Because wine comes from grapes, of course. And then you need grape vines for it to actually grow. And this is crafting recipe. You place it down. Might just be a bit of sugar cane. <laughs> anyway. See that? Great upwards. It will not grow any taller than two blocks. Basically right click it with the seeds. And it's, it's just like the beer part here, except with using glass and glasses. <laughs> so that is basically the aim of the mod. He plans to add further features like wine bottles. Wine glasses will still be usable, but wine bottles can store more and give more health. Hard liquor. More input required for barrels. Barrels will still be used for making wine and beer, and also more wine and beer. He was going to add coffee, but that would have made no sense, but it's going to be used for his own personal preference. Well, he will add it if enough users do want it. Hazardous effects like getting pissed off your heads, most likely. To me, you should actually use like the porcelain effect, but take away the actual colour, so it just seems like the world's whirling around. Alcohol cabinet, it'll in a way be like a custom chest, only for alcohol. New alcohols, rum, gin, vodka, scotch, red wine, what? White wine and whiskey. Grapes grow over heat. Kind of complicated, this. And first, mod capability. So those are the planned features. So what you want to do first is download it for single player. What's it? Survival multiplayer version is coming soon. Not sure when. So I've already downloaded it. You also need mod loader. No change there. Type in run, hit enter. Then type in percent app data percent. OK. Go to dot minecrafting or bin folder. Right click minecraft.jar, open with Winmara. As usual, all links will be provided in the description. Hit close. If you have a meta imp folder, which I do not, just delete your meta imp folder. But I don't since I've already deleted it. Select all the class files from mod loader, drag and drop them in, hit OK. Close that. Yeah. Now, go back. Create a mods folder if you already have one in, go into it. That was just a that was just for another mod review. And just drag and drop it in. I'm just checking it for something. No. That's right then. Don't worry about that part. I was just making sure there wasn't something I missed out. Alright, after you've all done that, just open up Minecraft.jar, open it up, hit login. Right, sorry about that, I was just doing something. Right now, 
go into your survival world or whichever worlds you want to use. I advise backing up your world to avoid corruption since it, this mod may possibly corrupt your worlds. So, wait, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, let's go for that worlds. Bad world to use. Sorry, my apologies. I will just generate a run worlds. Let's name it lol. Let's not use that seed since that's small join us. No biome. Let's use iOS. That's a nice seed. So we've just spawned in our nice new worlds. As you can see here, we've spawned right next to Bali, which is a very good thing. Let's just go out of creative mode really quickly. Get rid of all this crap that we really do not require. So I'm just going to create myself a crafting bench. See here, I've got a little crafting bench. So we're just going to break this barley until we get some normal stuff. Right, plan B. Let's just spawn some in. I like plan B. Who else does? Glass here. Right. So we've got a grape seeds and we've got a barley seeds. Say for instance we've just planted them. So we've got our barley. Now we need to make a wine barrel, not a wine barrel, beer barrel, but they will work. So we will need six planks and two iron. Like so, Let's just place three on the top, three on the bottom, one there, one there, yeah okay, not okay but yeah, just place it down, as you can see there, as I was saying before, get, get out of the way Mr Pig, we no longer require you. So just get a water bucket now, nice little water bucket, just found one of those, it's away from running, yeah. I'm just gonna get a couple. So now place the wall bucket up there. Barley up there. Oh yeah. I wasn't actually aware that did that. My bad. As you can see there it does take some time. I will speed up the video. Right, we are back guys. Now I was really not aware that when you actually place the barley above the bucket I wasn't actually aware that it loads just like a furnace. It takes quite a bit of time if you ask me. Probably took two or three minutes, but to me that's a long time. So once you've just done that, just drag and drop out. And there you have your bucket bin. Now I'm going to make myself a bucket of wine. So say you've just harvested your grapes. I'm just going to switch over buckets. So now I'm going to speed this part out. Or up. Or probably just cut it out. So yeah. Right guys, we are back, and it's just at the end of the, oh, oh, there we go, it's just at the end of the process of making the bucket of wine. As you can see, there actually leaves a bucket, that's because we will be turning these buckets into actual, like, beer mugs, whatever they're called, I forget, I'm a bit tired at the moment, and wine glasses. So now, what you want to do is go into a crafting table, place glass, like so, I know my bars. Place glass. Oh, you would actually make a wine glass. Except it's not two at the bottom here. It's just like a Y shape. And you'll get four wine glasses. You'll actually need eight for this, so I'll make another four. And there we go. Now for the beer, it's like a V shape. Um for this we will also need eight. Just place down to and get those. All right, so we don't need that anymore. So yeah. Now just place the if you want wine glasses. Just place the wine glasses around the bucket of wine. You have to have all eight around it for it to actually work, and you'll get eight wine glasses filled up. Now do exactly the same for the beer. 
and you will have yourself some nice bit looking beer. We just gotta get drunk. Whoa. I did not actually realise it's instant. I thought it had a bit of a potion effect, but Oh no no. The actual wine glass has the potion effects. The beer is instant. I'm just gonna drink all of these. As you can see it's it's made me a bit a bit slow. As you can see a bit bit Alright, now I'm just going to show you how to actually make the wine vines. For this you will need some sticks. Just fill up the whole crafting table with some Nash Griot sticks. Um, so I'm just going to make about four here. So we don't need, need many for this demonstration. I'm going to attempt to work with this <laughs> under these conditions. What you want to do is place this right next to the walls like sugar cane. It's just place. Oops. So yeah, free will do. So now, just right click it with the seeds, I believe. No, it isn't seeds. Let me just really quickly check, guys. Right, I'm back, guys. And I've just realized a little mistake that I made. It has to be next to... Well, it has to be on sand, not sand. That's what I tried to do on. It has to be on grass. So it's actually starting to get kind of annoying now. Anyway, yeah, it has to be on grass. Let's just use this little patch over here. And if it does have water around, it'll just grow two blocks. So right click it now, and as you can see. Now let's just get some bone meal. I believe it works with bone meal. It's not going to work with orange dye. Bone meal. As you can see there, grows two blocks. Now we have our grapes, so we can just punch that. We get about a good five, six grapes. If we go into our inventory, we can just place it down, get more grape seeds. Or use it for good old alcohol. So now I'm going to demonstrate the how to actually grow the barley so we've got our barley seeds right here right now we need a hoe not the sexual hoe sadly <laughs> we could use that but still we need an actual tool hoe let's just use the wooden one and let's get some more barley seeds and let's get ourselves some bone meal while we're at it just place it down as you can see it looks just like we it's probably using the same coding just a bit different of course when you break it you get some more barley seeds and you get barley itself place it in the crafting table get even more barley seeds and I think that is basically the mod let me just check for further information oh no that is it guys thanks for watching this is JC Peace out.